welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup tutorial and I wanted to make it something easy, simple, and fast because in the morning, well, I just hate mornings and it's really hard for me to get ready. So I wanted to make this tutorial, um, you know, just fast and easy. So I hope you guys like it. But I also want to tell y'all that this is a collab video with two girls here on YouTube. And that would be with Forever Raquel Love and also Ashley Mayer. They're both really sweet and gorgeous girls. And I'm very excited to be doing this collab with them because we are going to be doing a giveaway for you guys. It's going to be in a two week time span but um, if you guys want to know all the rules and everything you guys can um, get all the rules and everything at the end of this video or you can go ahead and check the description box down below but if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look then please keep watching all right guys so I am gonna go ahead and start with my benefit professional primer and this is my first time using this primer and I like it and made my foundation look really good but I can't really say anything about it but it does smell good so that's always a plus and then of course after my primer I'm going to put on my foundation today I'm using my L'Oreal true match Lumi foundation and sand beige and I'm putting three pumps of that onto my hand and then I'm going to use my trusted beauty blender to blend this into my face and it just helps it make it look more natural dewy and I just feel like my skin looks really flawless with this application so gotta love the beauty blender gotta love it Alrighty, so now that my foundation is put on, I am now going to go in with concealer and I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and Custard today. This is one of my new favorites, of course, just this easy application and I'm going to blend this in with the Beauty Blender because it just makes it look really natural and I just love it. So once it's all blended in, I am going to take the excess um, concealer that is on my beauty blender and just put it in the spots that I normally highlight. I'm not going to highlight today just because um, when I am tired and I don't have a lot of time to get ready, I just like to just do my concealer. So then after that, I'm going to set everything with my Makeup Forever Translucent Powder and just put that all over my face. And then once I do that, I'm also going to set my concealer with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light. This is like my obsession for my under eye concealer to set it. And if you haven't tried this already, then I definitely recommend that you do. But then to bronze my face, I am going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This was my first bronzer that I ever bought, like my expensive one, and it will always be my handy dandy one to go to especially if I am in a rush but I'm just gonna bronze my face where the Sun would normally hit it on my cheekbones my forehead and on my jawline Okay, and then for blush, I'm going to be using my MAC Sheer Tone Blush and Gingerly. And actually, the first time that I bought this, I bought it for um, contouring. And I actually used it for my wedding, and it looked so beautiful. And if you guys haven't ever used a blush before, you should go check it out um, at a MAC store and just see how much you like it, because I think that it looks really good. So now I'm gonna take my stippling brush and I'm just gonna make sure that everything is blended well together because I don't want any harsh lines. And as you guys can see, that blush is very pigmented. So I'm just gonna make sure that it is all blended in. Blend, 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 blend. And then, of course, I'm gonna take my favorite highlighter from Becca in the color Opal and I am going to highlight my face and that would be on the tops of my cheeks, my temples, and then also on the bridge of my nose. And to make my lips look a little bit more full, I'm gonna put it on my Cupid's bow just to help that. And yeah, just to make my lips look a little bit bigger. Then it is time for eyes, and I am going to be using my new palette, the Emrezi palette. Aww. Yes, it is beautiful, and I was dancing with it because it is just amazing. But anyways, I am going to get a crease brush and start with the color Caramel and put that into my crease. And 
And I like this color, but I wanted to deepen up my crease a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with the color Morocco and I'm gonna put that in my crease just to deepen it out and just make it stand out just a little bit more. Okay, so now it's time to put a color on my eyelid and I am going to take the color Glisten and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. This is a beautiful champagne color, like a rose gold color and the camera just does not do the color justice. It is gorgeous. So now that the eyelids are done, I'm going to move on to highlighting my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes with the color Vanilla. that my camera has been deciding to shut off on me while I record but now it's time to move on to eyebrows I'm going to be using my trusty uh, brow whiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills and the color brunette and I am just gonna quickly get a little bit of eyebrow going because my eyebrows are kind of thin and like eyebrows definitely define the face so can't go wrong with some nice eyebrows After that, I am going to go back in with my crease brush with whatever is left over with the caramel color from the palette on it because I just feel like the color needs to be a little bit higher onto my brow bone just to make sure that everything looks blended out. So now it's time for eyeliner and I'm not going to do a winged liner today, I'm just going to do something simple and easy. So I'm going to take my Amazonian Clay um, Waterproof Eyeliner by Tarte and I'm just going to line the upper eyelid. So I am grabbing my palette, my Amrezi palette again, because I want to put the color Caramel and also Glisten underneath my bottom waterline just to make the look look a little bit better because I think when you have shadow on the bottom lash line that it looks really, really, really good. And now, of course, it is time to do my eyelashes. So I am just curling my eyelashes with my Shiseido Eyelash Curler. And I am going to be using uh, Benefit Their Real Mascara to do my eyelashes. I'm not putting fake eyelashes on today because I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to put on eyelashes. So I skipped over recording me doing my eyelashes because I feel like everyone knows how to do that. So I just put two coats on that. And now I am going to line my lips with Jordana Lip Liner and the color Tawny and just put that all over and also fill in uh, my lips just a little bit.
For lipstick, I'm going to be using my Too Faced La Creme Color Drenched Lip Cream in Bon Bon, and this is like a hot pink corally color. Um, more hot pink than coral, but I've actually never used this, and so I wanted to give it a shot. It is so creamy, you don't even need lip gloss, but it's just a little too hot pink for me, so I decided to go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee and just make it a little bit more nude, just to tone it down just a little bit. So that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but let's go ahead and get into the giveaway entry rules. All right, so there are three rules that I am going to tell you, so make sure that you're listening, but if you're not, then you can go ahead and check the description box down below. But the first rule is to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also leave a comment down below on this video to let me know what kind of video you guys would like to see next. Um, number two is make sure that you're following me on Instagram and number three is make sure that you're following my Facebook page. I'm also going to link the uh, girls who I'm doing this collab video with, I'm going to link their channels down below in the description box so make sure that you guys click on theirs and follow their rules as well to make sure that you are 100% entered into our giveaway. For my part of the giveaway, I am going to be giving this Amrezi palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I use this in this tutorial and as you guys know, it's gorgeous, amazing, creamy, blendable, pigmented. The list really goes on and on. So I hope that you guys are excited about this. Um, good luck to everyone and I just can't wait to see who's going to win. So thanks again for watching my video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.